So otherwise, Mr. President, on behalf of This one has been written in Portuguese. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or is it Spanish? to the media, but first they will witness the signing of 11 MOUs between Kenya and Angola following, of course, uh, successful negoci negotiations between the two parties. And we will start uh, with the MOU on wildlife management and conservation, uh, which promotes cooperation between Angola and Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, please uh, take your seats. With regard to the efforts that we've been making in order to help our DRC brothers and sisters find peace and what would be or what would be the synchrony existing between the two processes that is the Nairobi and the Delwandi processes the only difference is that the Nairobi process is broader the Luanda process has to do only with M23. So that was the mandate that was given to us by the African Union. The African Union gave Angola the mandate to deal especially with the case of M23. We are all aware that in Eastern DRC there are many armed groups fighting against the central authorities. They are in hundreds, whereas the Nairobi process deals with all those groups. That's their mandate. The Rwanda process deals only with M23 because that was the mandate given by the AU. Modestly, we have made some great progresses. When I say we made, it's not only about Luanda, but Luanda and Nairobi processes. Jointly, we've made great processes, progress, sorry. But we have become stagnant on one item. We need to have the M23 containment carried out. And while that is not achieved, we are running the risk of losing all the gains that we've achieved so far. And we don't want that to happen. 
because everything that has been achieved has achi been achieved at the cost of great sacrifice by all, not only efforts by the mediator who are, who are the brokers, but also the efforts made by the Congolese authorities, the Rwandan authorities, and the M23 themselves. And we don't want this process to derail. We don't want the process to stay at stalemate. So we need to move to the next step, which is important. That has to do with M23 cantonment. We are not going to get into detail where the bottlenecks are that makes it mm, that this step is not taken up until today. But I'd like to say that we are optimistic that sooner or later that will happen, and it has to happen for the good of peace in that country and the whole region. Thank you very much.